Alright, here we are at the Frederick Meyer Gardens. See the greenhouse is there. Just coming up to the entrance. Now the Frederick Meyer Gardens and Sculpture Park is a 158 acre botanical garden, art museum, and outdoor sculpture park located right here in Grand Rapids. It was officially opened in 1995 and Meyer Gardens quickly established itself in the Midwest as a major cultural attraction jointly focused on horticulture and sculpture. All right, we're through ticketing and uh, past the greenhouses. I'm gonna check out the outside sculptures. The children's garden right there. Uh, we'll skip that this time. Go see some of the larger sculptures. So the Trojan horse here is one of the most famous sculptures in Frederick Meyer Park. Uh, it is absolutely ginormous. As you can see, here we are walking up on it and it's like holy crap. You know, when, <laughs> when we stand here we're only uh, a little bit bigger than the than the hoof so very cool piece so it is pretty cold out probably about 30 degrees so there's not a lot of people outside but we're doing it yep the neuron neuron yeah, makes sense all right we got the the groves, the commons. Something big over there. Not really sure. Bronze form. Okay. Oh, this is pretty cool. sticking out. Strange. These are kind of creepy. <laughs> it's like people with bunny heads and weird fetal positions and stuff. I guess that's art nowadays. Yeah, let's see what else we got. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> the big red, uh, red planter. Okay, I take it we're not supposed to walk in there. I'm gonna respect the rules even though it's tempting. waterfall here. Much prettier in the other seasons. Looks like another Alexander Calder back there, something like that. Got some geese hanging out. Just beautiful landscaping around the park. Not sure what this is. Uh, Louise Nevelson, Atmosphere and Environment, the 11th, or something. Look at this. What do we got? The disc in the form of a desert rose. Very cool. <laughs> wow. Oh yeah, the side. Look at all the detail in there. 
Huh. Here's where it's signed. 1993 and 94 it appears. Wow. Alright, look at this guys. Let me read the sign on in a minute. Alright. Alexander Liberman. Bronze spider right here. It's kind of creepy. Let's see what we got over here. Oh wow. I see a big parrot. And then kind of creepy. We got uh, two heads with some tools. <laughs> tools in their places. Beautiful uh, parrot. Listening to History by Bill Woodrow. David Nash. Interesting. All right. So that is the I, you, she, or he. I guess it's tough to tell. Isn't it? So we didn't see everything in the outdoor sculpture park, but I want to make sure we can get to the Japanese uh, garden here. So that's where we're walking to right now. Here's the column of the free spirit. So there's still a lot of other things to do here. You got the uh, Wedge Nature Trail, Woodland Shade Garden, Michigan's Farm Garden, and the Frey Boardwalk, but we're going to go to the Japanese garden here. So here is the Michigan's farm garden. Nice spot to stop with the kids. Now it appears the Japanese garden is closed, which is very disappointing. It's uh, right over uh, here. You can see there's a big uh, body of water in the middle of the Japanese garden with a, a great trail around it, some bridges. Um, Quite a few different Japanese sculptures and lots of different uh, plants. So, quite disappointed to see that it appears it's closed, but I'm gonna still check it out, see if there's a way I can get in. All right, here we are, guys. Japanese garden at Frederick Meyer Park in all its glory. style garden. Coming up to the wooden bridge again. called these the penis statues. I think you'll understand why. So even in the winter you still have just beautiful landscape and colors with the bushes and trees. Nice yellows, greens, reds. The bird viewing deck, they call that. I like those grasses. You got another waterfall, little wood bridge. I mean, truly, they put a lot of money into this uh, Japanese garden. Coming 
around back to the main gate here. We're gonna walk a little bit further just to finish, uh, close the gap on the journey. fell there. <laughs> Little stream. So the island here is the only part we haven't done. So let's do that. All right, there it is. The island, here's the bridge. That was pretty cool. It's like it's a horse made out of driftwood or something. So now that we had the uh, time to hit the Japanese garden, uh, we're coming back and finishing up a couple of those other sculptures outside that we had missed earlier. So we're coming up to the top of the hill here. You can see the greenhouses, the outdoor amphitheater, the big Trojan horse, and here we have the male slash female from 2014. And this is the uh, female side there. You can see the large hips in the hair. And over here we have the male side. Um, actually kind of a neat sculpture in my opinion. So we're coming around to the front edge of the park here. You can see the parking lot on the left. We can hear the road, um, East Beltline, ahead of us. This is interesting, it's like a big chisel. Very tall. And this is creepy, it looks like something from Game of Thrones or something like that, like a wilding. <laughs> you know, nothing like the uh, Japanese garden, but still beautiful landscaping throughout the rest of the sculpture park as well. Nice modern piece. It's called uh, B Tree 2. <laughs> Figure on a trunk. by Magdalena Abakanowicz in 1998. Nice. Here's something from a French artist uh, cast before 1920. Wow. All right, we're coming back to the greenhouses. Gonna end our journey with popping inside those.
Here's the desert one, big cactus here. Seems like the rainforest one. Puppies here. Wow. We're going to need to raise the roof here soon on the greenhouse. All right. That wraps up our journey, folks. Frederick Meyer Gardens.